I am Anjali from Indian Star. A 22-year-old Tunisian national Meher Marouf has been taken into custody until his next appearance in the court for the murder of an Indian student Sabina Tanwani in central London student accommodation. The accused appeared at Highbury Corner Magistrate Court yesterday to ask for an interpreter for the Tunisian Arabic dialect for the future hearings as he denied having understood the proceedings at the court. Though he confirmed his name and age, he told the court he has no fixed address. Maruf has also been charged of assaulting emergency workers and will appear in the Old Bailey's Court tomorrow. The post-mortem report from Whittington Hospital state that Sabina died because of a sharp forced trauma to the neck. This is what the police has to say. The Metropolitan Police today has launched a murder investigation following the tragic death of a young woman in Clerkenwell. Police officers were called to Arbor House in Sebastian Street at around 10 past 5 Saturday morning. Despite the efforts of police officers and ambulance colleagues, a 19-year-old woman was very sadly pronounced dead at the scene. We are working to ensure that the woman's family have been informed of this tragic news and they will be supported by the Met in the unimaginably difficult days and months ahead. Arbor House is a student accommodation and I know there will be great sadness and deep concern among the local people and the student community. I share that sadness and concern and I can assure them that a thorough homicide investigation is underway led by skilled and experienced detectives who will work tirelessly to identify and arrest whoever is responsible. Tackling violent crime is the Met's top priority. Police officers, including forensic specialists, remain at the scene. Local people will also see additional police in the area. If you have any concerns about safety in and around the Clark and Rail area, please speak with those officers. Meanwhile, her friends at the accommodations have organised a memorial moment at the university next Tuesday.